Number 35. What is the maximum mass of carbohydrate in a six ounce serving of diet soda that contains less than one calorie per can if the average number of calories for carbohydrates is 4.1 calories per gram? Okay, so we're going to be talking about macronutrients in terms of, in terms of energy needs. So there's basically three macronutrients. There's, there's overall, there's four, but three that we eat, right, in order to have energy for ourselves. Protein, uh, fats, aka lipids, and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the only ones that we're going to be talking about in this case, right? And basically what this number means is that for every one gram of a carb, so any carbohydrate, whether it's a sugar, a complex sugar, simple sugar, right, one gram of a carbohydrate If we eat it and we digest it and we metabolize it, we will be able to, you know, get 4.1 calories of energy for that one gram of carbohydrate that was metabolized. Now here we're seeing what's the mass. So how many grams of carbs is there in a can of diet soda, right? that contains less than one calorie per can. Now, we have to assume here that they said six ounce serving. I'm going to assume that this six ounce serving is one can. Okay. Now the whole can has less than one calorie. They're asking for what's the maximum mass. So technically, they just said that it was less than one. So maybe the max mass or the max amount of calories would be 0.9. Maybe it's 0.99. Maybe it's 0.999 or 0.9999 or 0.99999. So the max amount would roughly be around one calorie, right? I mean, we're getting so close to one. So in this case, I'm going to use this one calorie, um, to get the mass of the carbohydrate. So let's start off with that. We have one calorie, whoop, one calorie in that can of Coke. All we have to do is convert calorie into mass. We've done tons of dimensional analysis and that's all that we're doing. We're gonna be using this conversion factor to go from calorie to grams. So calorie on the bottom, get rid of that unit gram up on top. And because it's a carbohydrate, there's always one gram of carbs that's going to be metabolized and that will produce out 4.1 calories. Cancel out the calories. So all we're doing is basically one divided by 4.1. And I guess, I guess two sig figs, does it really matter? No. (laughs) So I'll say 0.24. And that's how many grams of this, you know, of the the carbohydrate in the diet soda. And that's it, guys. This one was easy. These are fun. All it is is just a conversion. So, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. Tell your classmates or friends, whoever is in chemistry, and go check the channel out. We have physics videos and math videos as well at the moment, so maybe we could help you out there as well, all right? I will talk to you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.